If you're new to JavaScript programming, there are a few things you should know that make JavaScript, well, unique. One way it's different is in how it's deployed. Take your typical language. You write code, you compile it, and then you distribute an application. With JavaScript, things are much more flexible. You can deliver code to any page just by using the script tag, like we saw in the previous video. Once you do that, the browser downloads the code with the page and begins interpreting it. No compilation is needed. We refer to languages that are interpreted without a formal compilation stage as scripting languages. Scripted languages are usually less strict in their usage of things like types and more forgiving of some errors. Compiled languages, on the other hand, are strict, and because applications are pre-compiled and optimized, they're also fast to execute. So is JavaScript slow? Well, as we've mentioned before, a lot of work has gone into JavaScript in the last decade or so to allow browsers to compile JavaScript on the fly, making it as fast or nearly as fast as native code. So with JavaScript, we get both flexibility and speed. Now, another thing that is unique about JavaScript is that it runs in an environment. What environment? Well, the browser, of course. And so to learn JavaScript, you're actually learning two things, the core language and how to make use of the environment supplied by the browser. Let's take a closer look at what that means. Your job in learning JavaScript is going to be twofold. You're learning about the core language, those parts of the language that let you do basic computational things. And you're also learning how to get JavaScript to talk to your web page and operate in the browser. So what kinds of things can you do in the browser with JavaScript? Well, you can get values out of your page or you can change the content in your page. You can update the structure and style in your page programmatically. Or how about getting user input or even getting the latest tweet from Twitter to include in your page? You can do all of this with JavaScript through the browser. And beyond that, there are some advanced things you can do with JavaScript and the browser with the HTML5 APIs, like drawing graphics, using multiple threads, getting your location, storing data locally on a device, all of that is covered in our Head First HTML5 programming book. Feel free to check that out as you're learning JavaScript. That book assumes you know a little JavaScript, but it's a good companion as you learn if you really want to go ahead and dive into some advanced programming. Now, we don't want you to think that the browser is the only place for JavaScript because these days you'll find JavaScript embedded in other environments like audio and visualization applications. But no matter what your end goal is for using JavaScript, a great way to learn it is by using it in the browser where you can get immediate feedback, have a lot of fun, and get started with just a text editor and a good modern browser. So let's spend a little time talking about how hard it is to learn JavaScript. Here's another unique thing about JavaScript, and this should make you very comfortable. It is one of the easiest languages to get started with. This turns out to be one of the big keys to JavaScript's success. With JavaScript, people with many different backgrounds have been able to write code in their web pages to add behavior. And in fact, JavaScript has fought off a long list of formidable competitors to gain the title of the official programming language of the web including languages like VBScript, JScript, TickleTK, Java, and Flash. Why is it easy to get started with JavaScript? Well, because simple computations are easy to describe. With something like Java, I need to understand classes and objects and static methods just to write Hello World. With JavaScript, on the other hand, I just need to understand variables, strings, and a few function calls to write something interesting. Beyond that, 
all you need to get started is just a text editor and a browser. You don't need any fancy tools or special environments or any kind of compiler. You just add a little JavaScript to your HTML and CSS, load your page into the browser, and you're off and running. The fact that JavaScript is so easy to get started with is one reason why Eric and I agree that it makes a great first programming language. And a lot of educational institutions agree with us too. That's all for this installment, but you can find out a lot more about JavaScript by joining us as we write headfirst JavaScript programming. Just point your browser to wickedlysmart.com JS sign up, and we'll see you in the next installment of Headfirst JavaScript Programming Teasers. <laughs>